Hi everyone, my name is Adel Hona and I'm gonna walk you through my beauty routine. My first beauty secret is probably the most controversial of them all, but I swear it works. It's an old drag queen secret. Preparation H, don't put it too close to your eye, but it just helps me like deep puff and I use this a lot when I'm filming or if I have, you know, long flights and I have to look good like the second I land. Then I go in with these Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Eye Masks. I've actually been using these for years. I feel like if you know me, you've seen me with these green things on my face. I'm gonna ice my face. My mom's taught me that when it comes to beauty, it always comes sort of from within. So it's about what you're eating, what you're drinking, and also to be really practical and efficient. So I definitely learned the eyes from her. This like closes my pores, wakes me up, also gives me a little like contour. I'm gonna take these off. I really love this product. It just like melts all my makeup off. It's a triple oil balm. This is me. I'm gonna pat this in a little bit. I recently discovered this brand. It's all natural. It just feels really nice on the skin. And I'm gonna use these two little sponges. It's so fat. Put them in water, they turn into sponges. I'm such a nerd about them. I think they're the coolest thing in the world. So I have a little bit on here. I double cleanse because the balm has a lot of oil. With the cleansing milk, I sort of get rid of all that oil, but I'm still hydrating my skin. For Father the Bride, I was filming in Atlanta and Miami and it's so humid, I just kept breaking out. So I have to do a little bit more stripping. Like I would use a toner, but I can't do that here in LA. So I'm gonna lips. I'm this little Fenty Beauty. I love that this is like almost like a lipstick. This is the lip oil by Close. That's another natural clean beauty brand. I always have one of these in my bags. I use this One One Skin Vitamin C. I have a little bit of sun damage and hyperpigmentation just because I'm, I guess, Latin American. Vitamin C really helps with that. That is one thing that I make sure I don't skip. I recently discovered this eighth day serum it has like glycolic acid, but very little that I can still wear it during the summer. And I've seen a really big difference in my skin. It just makes my skin feel healthy and hydrated. My beauty journey has been an interesting one. I started off with just following every single fad that would come up and I would just buy all these products. And when I started doing the research and getting testers instead of just buying a bunch of products, I started discovering like what worked better for me as an oldie but a goodie. So I was like diagnosed with rosacea with like all these crazy things. And finally I went to a dermatologist that just told me it was just dermatitis. So I stay with really clean ingredients on my face and I tend to buy things for sensitive skin. It ended up being because of the bacteria and a makeup brush. So wash your brushes. I'm gonna go in with new face. I actually just came off a plane, so I can feel myself a little puffier than usual. I'm that girl on the plane that's wearing the eye mask with the preparation age. And I'll probably do a little bit of this. I have no shame. I'm, I'm trying to look good when I get off that plane. This is the Elta MD sunscreen. It's clear. I wear sunscreen every day. It doesn't matter if it's raining, it doesn't matter if it's gloomy. Growing up in Mexico and and Puerto Rico, a Latin American woman, they love to dress up. You know, my mom was born in New York and, and lived in Miami a lot of a, a lot of her, her upbringing. So when she went to Mexico the first day in like sweatpants to drop me and my brother off of school, she freaked out. I mean, all the women were dressed up, had hair done, makeup, and she just fell in love with that. She fell in love with, you know, women like to feel beautiful and they like to dress up. And so she's really tried to implement that in me. Caudalie. Just by doing that, 
on its own, I just feel better. It's almost like a meditation. I probably have like a Diana Ross or Beyonce playing in the background. And just by looking at myself in the mirror, it just sort of lifts my spirit up a little bit. Sometimes we're not feeling so great on the inside and we need to help ourselves, you know, or just give us like a little bit of a pep talk. And that's what I feel like skincare and beauty and makeup is for me. All right, now let's get into makeup. First up is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Armani. I've been using this for years. I like to really be heavy in the middle part of my face and then drag it out. You can really build it up for like a night look or you can sort of use it like a tinted moisturizer. When creating a character and sort of going in and talking with these brilliant makeup artists, you know, I try to stay as natural as possible, but with adding a little bit of different shades. So for Star Wars, I did a lot of like browns and for Father of the Bride, I did a little bit more of like mauve tones. I also don't go with foundation on top of my eye. I have like a natural brown eyeshadow. And I used to be so self-conscious about it. I used to put like concealer all over my under eye and on top of my eye. Pictures in high school are horrible because I have no makeup, but I have white on my eye. Talking about concealer, we're gonna go with Armas. And I'll dab and then drag it at the end. Another clean makeup brand, pour. I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. I've actually never waxed my eyebrows. I've always done my own eyebrows. This is Posas. I have really dark eyebrows, but I use um, like a lighter brown just so it doesn't look too heavy or, or too bulky. I'll go in with this Orbi Rock Hard Gel. I'm traveling all the time, so I like to use things for multiple purposes. I love this just to do like a hair up moment. And I also use it for my eyebrows. It makes your eyebrows look like they're laminated. All my eyebrows have like a personality of their own. There's always that one hair that just wants to be wild and crazy and come out. I'm gonna use this Armani Nail Nude Melting Color Balm and I like to shape my cheekbone. I have actually tried to do like a full drag contour. I'm horrible at it. They're queens for a reason. And from now on, everything that I'm gonna put on my skin is also gonna be in my eyes. This Hula Benefit is just, it's amazing. I almost feel like a teenager every time I use it because I've been using this for years. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer by Tower 28. I don't like when the middle part of my face is too, too bronzed up. I, I want this to sort of stay a little bit lighter just so it's like the focal point. And I like to go up, like at the top of my cheekbone and into my hairline. And if I want that like sunken in sort of look, I'll just go in right here. In my upcoming movie, Father the Bride, I got to work with Gloria Stefan and she's just such a queen. She does things with such dignity and is so kind and also so funny. She's got a dirty mouth, that one. I asked Gloria, I was like, Gloria, what, what would you advise a girl like myself in, in this business? And she just like sort of looked at me and took a sip of her drink and said, you keep that ass up, girl. Keep that ass up. She's not wrong. <laughs> Blush. And I like to use a little brush for it so it doesn't smudge what I've already sort of done. I'm not shy with this. I really go for it. I just dab this right here to make me look a little bit more awake. 
someone actually recently told me, he's like, oh my God, you, can you believe that you're here? And it was at a red carpet. And I'm like, yeah, I can. I've worked really hard to be here. Thank you. Can we stop being surprised by Latin American women working in Hollywood? Now I'm gonna go ahead and use Evia um, eyeliner. And I'll just sort of smudge it. And I'll sort of do the same thing at the bottom. I'll just do a dot. Because it sort of gives it this like rock and roll cool girl style. This is the RMS Beauty, and I'll go in with this color right here. This is pretty much the TikTok trend, which I like to call TikTok University. You put it sort of here, and then you swoop it down. I'm really obsessed with this Avia mascara. And I'll just uncover all my little freckles. Eyeliner. And I'll make them even darker. It's funny, sometimes, you know, the things that I was the most self-conscious about in high school end up being the things that I actually really like now. Lip Power by Armani. And I'll just smudge it to make it look like really pouty. I use this Roz oil and I think it's brilliant because it's both for your hair and for your body. I'll go in with this Orbe texturizing spray. I'm gonna spray my way intense. So this is my sort of dinner, cute brunch look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Besos, until next time.